what I'd like to do is start off with a little bit of a tutorial of the intraday trading that I've been talking about so much. Today has been a really volatile day, so people could be making money on the long side as well as the short side. What you're looking at here is an, an intraday chart of JP Morgan. Right up here on the upper left, you can barely see the symbol JPM. Eventually, I'll try to figure out how to change this to a, a black text there so you can see it. You can see right there to look in the upper left corner on this type of chart on what the symbol is. So here's what you're looking at. Normally what you see is you have a three minute chart. And if you wanted to smooth out these lines a little bit from all the volatility that takes place, you can switch to a five minute chart and it's it doesn't have so many squigglies. But the same principle here is that you can see this is turning right here and then you've got a top and to confirm that top, let's take a look at the, okay, let's look at that top. So we were looking at this, and let's see, I click on my left mouse, and you'll get a crosshair. Look at the bottom there, and you'll see 11.15 a.m. Pacific time, which is about 8.15 Pacific time. You see the moving average turning over or flattening out right there and turning over. Then you look over here at your stochastics, and they're confirming, and your MACD right there is also confirming. The green line on the MACD is, uh, is confirming that that's the peak and turning down as well. So let me put these a little smaller so we can look at a better look at the uh, price chart. So we're seeing this move down. And what you're trying to look at here is two things. You're seeing this turn down and go down, cross through this moving average on the red line, which is a longer moving average. This setting is a 15-day moving average on the red line, 5-day on the green. Now, to confirm whether you should close your short position, assuming you're selling short right here, for example, is you are looking for this line to stay below the red line, and you're looking for the other confirmations that they are continuing to point down, and then you can get out somewhere right in here is where this is flattening up, and you can see that stochastics turning up is another symbol. Sure, you can wait for a formal crossing point there, Let's look at the price at both point 29.78 or 29.80 on the left. Look over in this column here. When I click on this crosshair, you'll see 29.76 on the left side. And that could be your maximum price you can get. You'll probably fill at 29.60. Let's go down here, look at 28.40. So there's a dollar twenty on that stock there. And a dollar twenty on a $28 stock is a 4.2% profit potential between this and here, which is excellent for, a, for anything on an intraday scalp. Then you got another one right here. Let's see what time that is, 13.55. It's 10.55 a.m. Pacific time. Price was about 20, around 27.90. And you see it flattening out. You see the stochastics turning up. Let's open that back up. You see McD is bottom right here. See that green line's bottom and it's starting to point up. The moving average is turning up. So now you got a long purchase at about $27.90 to $28. And you come up here and there's a little spike there. Let me close this down because I like to give you more room to interpret this. It went always at $29.44. Let's say $29.10. So $29.10 was your high. From 27.80, let's say 28, a dollar 10, and that's another 4%. Let's take a look at another stock I, wa I followed today. Here's First Solar. Let's take a look at that. That's been pretty strong all day. Let's move down to a three minute chart, for example. You can see a little bit more clearly. Here's First Solar with two days of data on here. It opened down yesterday. Th this line here means it closed at about 116.1. 116.17 yesterday. Opened down pre-market hours. Regular market hours, it opened right there at 6.30 Pacific, 110.77. Pretty much turned up right there and started climbing there. Let's say you didn't get this at all until this purchase point right there. And that was at 13.33. Look at the bottom there. You see the time. There's your timeline down there. That's the time. So if you do the crosshair again, 
about 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 Pacific. We got a bottom right there on this first solar. You can see that right here. Let's open those up so you can clearly see the moving average and the stochastics. Let me do the crosshair right there. See the bottom on all three are lining up and they're all turning up as we move this crosshairs to the right. It crosses the red line, the 15 day moving average. I don't wait for it to go that wait that long. Let me, let me squeeze these down a little bit because we're constrained with our size. 120.2 by the time it crosses at 121.4. Yeah, that's why I get it on the when it's just flattening out and turning up and then I look at the indicators and they're confirming that that is a purchase price. So let's open this a little bit and you've got a green moving average staying above the red. Perfect all the way up. Didn't cross over. Got a little close right there. And how much did you get there? $134, $133.75 from $120. That's $13. $13.60 profit on $120 is 11.3% profit swing from there to there. And that was that very powerful buy program toward the end, especially on the tech stocks, on the NASDAQ stocks. The financials moved up earlier. They didn't move quite as radically on that last hour percentage wise but they still moved let's take a look at another stock here's Goldman Sachs let's open this up a little bit you can see a bottom there and the moving average stayed to the left and above the moving average line of the red let's take a look what the indicators told us besides the moving average chart and we've got these turning up that's maybe a little harder to read for you we can look at this as a short from 69.75 to 66.92 so that's almost three dollars let's say that's 275 potential from right there right there to right there we said was two dollars and 75 cents on a 67 dollar purchase 4.1 percent profit potential you got another one right there you got a, a short you got a long here this long right in here clear signal right there Look all the way up and down. You see the moving average here. Stochastics move, turning up. McD flattening out and turning up. Moving average turning up. Price is $66. Sell for $69.35. $3.30 on a $66 stock. 5% profit between this number, this one right here, between right here, and right here. You saw some three, four, five, six percenters. We saw a big number on First Solar. I saw it all day long on all these stocks. So great trading on intraday trading. You really should be learning this technique well. And you follow these charts just like you're watching a video game.